He has got the ability to punish you. Let's see what Arsenal can do here, though. Well, Kido Hart, we've not seen too much of him so far, but he's combining really well with DRF. And open on the far side is Amari Hutchinson, who sells the... No, losing possession. Max Swanson's there to help his teammate, and he's going for tonight. Most that we've seen of him is uh, putting the ball out of his net on two occasions from Amari Hutchinson. Nothing he could do about either goal, mind. Here's Taylor Hart. No whistle. An opportunity to cross it is Biereth, who gets Arsenal's third. And Taylor Hart continued and had the wherewithal to pick out Biereth at the far post. That decision and really is just a perplexing one. As it is now, Palace have got an absolute mountain to climb. It's to play. Here's Aziz steaming forwards right down the middle of the pitch to find Taylor Hart in it. Partially cleared from Arsenal. Well, Taylor Hart can chase this one down. And now it might break for him. The Arsenal youngster escapes one tackle and another before firing towards goal and it's only just stayed out actually square that to his teammate but that's what these under 23 games are all about of course the result is important and we do want to see happy to leave two men behind and Arsenal can get going on this left hand side with Taylor Hart back to Patino looked for Rob Street who's won the header I think that's what Palace just need to do now he's proven to be a real handful in the opening hour or so of this fix only partially cleared Rekic was there with the follow-up Arsenal still in control of the ball plenty of Palace Committed defenders in the way. Taylor Hart holds his uh, marker off to win it. Didn't get it on that occasion. Well read by uh, Omar Rekic. And now you can hear Kevin Betsy screaming his players forward. Now the Gunners will look to play out from the back before Taylor Hart is hauled to the floor. Been pretty wayward, but I think Arsenal will be disappointed from their.